So that is seven wins in a row now in all competitions and we have kept up this Premier League winning run. But it was not an easy performance today. It was quite a timid and flat performance. But Arsenal do get the job done. In two minutes the game was done and we won the game inside 90 seconds with two quick goals. One coming from Watford's own mistake and then a touch of class by Meza Ozil to give Arsenal a 2-0 win at the Emirates against Watford. Welcome back to Analyse and Arsenal. These are my thoughts and feelings to the game at the Emirates Stadium in the Premier League as Arsenal hosted Watford. I just want to say guys that I didn't upload an Analyse and Arsenal in midweek after our Carabao Cup game. The reason why is because I was so tired. I, I fell asleep. Like I was watching the Chelsea Liverpool game. I was watching highlights of Arsenal taking on Brentford, and then I fell asleep. And then I woke up in the morning and thought, oh. I've just missed recording. Um, I did put something up on my Twitter before falling asleep. Um, but I'm going to address that at the end of this video. So this video is going to be a brief kind of talking about my thoughts and feelings to our Carabao Cup win in midweek. But we're going to start most importantly with today's game and my thoughts and feelings to Arsenal against Watford. Because Watford are not an easy side. They're on a really, really good run of form. If we look at the Premier League table, um, before today they had uh, won four, they had drawn one and only lost one. So they were ahead of us in the table and they had a great, great start. Um, Watford are one of those sides where they are really, really challenging. You know, they're physical, they're strong, you know, and we know everything about, you know, Troy Deeney, what he said last year about, you know, Arsenal lacking cojones and, you know, although we absolutely smashed Watford at the Emirates after, you know, he said that comment last season. When we actually went to Vicarage Road uh, last October, we actually lost the game. You know, Watford have beaten us. I think they've beaten us on, on numerous occasions, Watford. Um, I remember them beating us at the Emirates 2-1 when we lost again at the Emirates 2-1. And under Arsene Wenger, Watford were one of many teams that were just bogey sides that we never, ever seemed to get a good result against. And these are the type of games that you need to win. And, uh, you know, Watford played a very, very decent game. You know, they were intent on trying to, you know, cause us problems. And for, you know, 70, 80 minutes they did. It seemed that we were a little bit off today. Um, it was one of those games where, you know, you have those throughout the season where, you know, things are just not going right for you. You know, we had many half chances. We were kind of being slow around the box. We weren't really penetrating Watford. And Watford actually had a couple of really good opportunities and a lot of chances. We dominated the possession. Um, but it just came from, as I said, you know, a nil-nil. You know, it was half, you know, half time, nil-nil. And uh, it was a very, very timid performance. And then in the second half, we kind of... You know, stepped up a little bit, but still not in that way of us absolutely cementing and dominating, you know, Watford and, and getting a couple of, you know, decent passes. We got a couple of decent passes to play going, but we didn't really cause any serious threat. And then with, you know, around nine minutes to go, it comes from an own goal that, uh, you know, like I said, it's, you know, Watford's own mistake. And then two minutes later, Meza Ozil gets on the score sheet and, you know, then we were holding on. Um, not only do we get another, yes, another clean sheet, which is just, I mean, you know, clean sheets for Arsenal, Jesus. But, you know, it's another comprehensive victory. And it's, you know, back-to-back 2-0 -back wins. We got a 2-0 win against Everton. Uh, we got, uh, you know, a 2-0 win um, against Watford this afternoon. If we look at the lineups, so uh, we had a uh, checking goal today who, was he substituted? Have a look here. Uh, he was, Leno came on. Um... I don't really know why that happened. I was watching the highlights of the game. I'm not entirely sure why he was taken off. Maybe he got injured. I'm not too sure. But we had Bellerin, Mustafi, Holden and Monreal. No Socrates. Uh, Lucas Torreira, Granit Xhaka. We had Ozil, Ramsey, Aubameyang and Alexandra Lacazette. Um, and, you know, Lacazette and Aubameyang. I mean, Aubameyang was substituted. Uh, but they did really cause... And, you know, last Sunday against Everton, they really were, you know, promising. And they caused, uh, you know, um, Everton so many kind of problems. Um, today, they kind of didn't really have too many, you know, chances, really. They, you know, linked up well together. And I think, you know, on their day, they're going to cause so many teams a whole host of problems. But again, you know, today was one of those days where nothing really, you know, fell in their way. Um, Ozil, I think, has, has stepped up his game. You know, there's been a lot of criticism um, over Ozil, rightly so, particularly from myself over the last couple of years where I just don't think he you know, gives enough or, you know, at times I feel like he feels he's bigger than the club. But, you know, he was so impressive against, you know, um, Everton. You know, he's been getting goals and, you know, he gets another one today. And I think Unai Emery's really bringing out, not just, you know, helping his all-round kind of attacking game, but I think he's also helping Ozil to track back and actually, you know, defend. I'm seeing Ozil, you know, tracking back and getting stuck in challenges 
chances. And that's what we want to see from Mesut Ozil because we know he can do, you know, the, the front side of, of the game. You know, he can, you know, you know, get assists, he can score goals, you know, he can open up spaces, he can kind of set, you know, players in front of him and put them into positions where defenders just simply cannot catch them. But, you know, it's the other side where we're up against the cost. Ozil just doesn't want to be up, you know, he can't be asked, he doesn't want to know, if he's not on the ball, if Arsenal are not in possession, he doesn't want to know, and I've noticed, particularly under Unai Emery, that, you know, determination to track back, you know, because Ozil's playing a little bit more of a, you know, a, a winger type role, where, you know, a winger's, you know, a, a world class winger has to be equally as good going forward, than as good going back, and I think Ozil's learning, there's still, you know, things that he needs to do, but I think his overall game is really, really, you know, improved, and I think, you know, that tracking back and willingness and desire to track back is something that I, I really, really like to see. You know, what for themselves, they've got Troy Deeney, who is just, you know, Troy Deeney's Troy Deeney, incidentally, but they've got Andre Gray as well, so they've got, you know, a pacey, prolific, you know, attacker that can, you know, get in behind and cause Arsenal problems, and then Troy Deeney could just bully his way into the box. And like I said, you know, Watford had, uh, you know, chances, you know, they created chances, but they didn't really cause any kind of major threat, you know, there weren't really any moments where I was generally worried, you know. It is one of those games that could go either way, you know, if Watford, you know, get themselves into the lead, get an early lead, then it could be one of those days where, you know, our heads just drop and it would be, you know, the end of our winning run. But it shows that this Arsenal side have got character, you know, this wasn't a perfect performance. The game against Everton wasn't a perfect performance, but we're getting the job done. And that is now seven wins in a row. And, you know, we haven't got, as I keep saying, we haven't got a major team until November. So we can really start getting, you know, some consistency running. We're on a great run of form in all competitions. You know, we've got that consistency running. I think Unai Emery is really starting to settle into the job. And I think he knows, A, who his best side is, what players are performing and what players are not performing. And I think he's starting to get results. You know, it's still very, very early days. You know, we can't get carried away. We can't get ahead of ourselves. But it's looking very, very good and very, very promising. Um, we're now up to fifth in the Premier League. So, um, we're a point behind Chelsea who play uh, Liverpool this afternoon. And Liverpool are the only side that have still got a 100% record you know, before they play this afternoon. This will be up while Chelsea and Liverpool are playing, which I'll be watching. Um, so, I kind of hope that that's a draw because, you know, we're level on points with Spurs. We're two points clear of Watford. Um, I mean, Bournemouth, yeah, Bournemouth are the only side that haven't played. Um, and uh, they will go level on points with Watford if they win. But, you know, we're going to stay, you know... Fifth, in fifth, you know, that's where we're going to be. We're into the top five. We're kind of, you know, on the ball line of breaking into that top four. And, you know, things are going really, really well. Um, quickly, in regards to our Carabao Cup game, um, I was really, really impressed with Arsenal because, you know, it's those type of games where... You know, this is what I would have been saying on, on Wednesday, you know, cup upsets. We've seen Manchester United, you know, not only have they lost today, but, you know, they went out to Derby. Um, and, you know, it can happen. You know, we've been, you know majorly upset by lower teams in Carabao Cup games, you know, in years gone by. Um, it was a professional job, and I am really, you know, I was so shocked, actually, how serious he took the competition, because, you know, Welbeck got two goals, Alexandre Lacazette got a goal when he came on. Um, we did concede one, but we got the job done. It was a professional, strong, solid performance. A couple of hairy moments, but... You know, Arsenal were not perfect. We're always going to have hairy moments. So, you know, it was a really, really good performance. And, you know, like I said, I want to win every single trophy and every single trophy that we could possibly win, I want to win all of them. So I think Unai Emery, you know, it'd be great if he could get, you know, a piece of silver in his first season. So hopefully, and just hopefully, we could, you know, do well and get to the final, just like we did last year in the Carabao Cup. But, you know, it was an easy, professional and solid performance, really. And today, it wasn't a perfect performance, but we did get the job done. And I'm going to leave Analyse and Arsenal there for you guys today. Two match reviews in one, and I will rejoin you. What is our next game, out of curiosity? I believe, are we back to um, Europa League football. Let's have a look. Yes, we have Carabag um, on Thursday night and then we've got Fulham next Sunday. So I will be rejoining you for our Europa League um, match day two group, uh, I think we're group K, aren't we? Group K or group G, one of the group, but I will be rejoining you for that game on Thursday night and I won't be tired because Arsenal will play so I will be uploaded on Thursday and also, ladies and gentlemen, I have recorded my FIFA 19 pack open that I'll be gracing you guys with next weekend. We'll be editing that through the week. So, yeah, the channel's looking good. Arsenal looking good. If you've enjoyed this 
this video. Please make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe channel if you're new around here, and um, check out my great content as well. Follow me on Twitter at DJBappers998, and until next time, this is DJ sign out. Take care, and I shall speak to you all later. Take care, and I shall see you all on Thursday. Take care. Have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.